Hey, thanks for checking out the video. So in this one, we're gonna be taking a look at some Olay I5Ts. Got three of them here. And what we're gonna be doing is feeding them all different types of batteries with different voltages, and then letting them run on their high setting to see uh, what kind of temperatures we reach with each different type of battery. The one thing that these batteries have in common is that none of them are recommended to be used in the I5T by Olay. Uh, we've actually got an Olight i5R battery right here. It has a voltage of 2.4. So we're going to be putting this one in the uh, kind of sunset or autism awareness coloration i5T. And then over here in the brown one or the desert one, we're going to be using the lithium iron phosphate, lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry uh, cell from GTF. And this has a voltage of 3.2. So um, definitely getting up there. This is over double the recommended voltage um, to, to be used in the I5T already. Um, these lights are typically designed to be used with double A's with a voltage of 1.2 if you're using nickel metal hydride or 1.5 if you're using alkaline batteries. So yeah, getting up there in the voltage and then even higher than 3.2, got these 3.7 volt lithium ion cells right here from GTL. So um, yeah. In the past, I've tested the temps of the i5T using these batteries and it gets very hot pretty quickly. So I'm expecting to see that sort of thing again. Um, I haven't really done a heat test with these before, so it'll be interesting to see if the light remains cooler by dropping about half a volt. Um, so we'll see how that looks. And then I'm not anticipating too many heat problems using this 2.4 volt battery, but only one way to find out. So. Without further ado, that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So I'm going to pop the batteries in so I can just talk while they're heating up and you can see what happens in real time here. So Sunset I5T or Autism Awareness has the OLED I5R 2.4 volt battery. This brown desert one's got that 3.2 volt lithium iron phosphate. And then this black one has the 3.7 volt lithium ion cell. So let's get them turned on. So it looks like with the lithium iron phosphate and the lithium ion battery, you lose the low mode. Um, so they just become single mode operation lights. So that's just something to note if you didn't already know that. And then over here with the I5R battery, you retain two mode operation. So you have low as well as high. So we'll let these heat up a bit. And then just as a baseline, the room temperature we're working with is about 77.5 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll translate that into Celsius and put that on screen. For those of you who like torches more than you like flashlights, let me just put it that way. But uh, yeah, um, let these kind of get heated up. Let's check on this lithium ion cell first. It's the one that should heat up in theory. And yeah, there we go, we're already at one, 113 over there is what I saw. Uh, mid 90s here on a lithium iron phosphate and then over here mid 80s let's see if we can get a better reading yeah mid 80s so already can see a difference in a matter of a few seconds we'll let this play out it's been a little bit hit it with another round of temps 120 we're definitely climbing up 126. I saw right there. Let's see on the lithium iron phosphate, we've got um, low 100s. So let me do that. Let me document here. And then we've got still remaining pretty cool. Definitely warmer than room temp on the i5R battery, but nothing too crazy. Not We haven't hit 90 yet, so not bad. We'll give it another minute or two. All right, so let's get another read on our ooh, 140, low 140s. Dang, definitely getting hot here with the lithium iron cell, ion cell, 140. Lithium iron phosphate, we're getting to 109, 110, I think I just saw. 
I'm gonna call it 110. I think I saw 110. Definitely 109. I'll round up. 110. And then i5R battery, 2.4, 2. Point, I'm sorry, uh, 2.4 volt. Definitely still staying pretty cool. Getting up right, brushing up right up against 90. That's not bad at all. That's just kind of warm to the touch. No problem there. Let's see if we're still, oh my gosh, 151. Did you see that? Holy cow. That's, that's pretty, 157, 159. Goodness, 159. We're getting a really hot there. I got my glove ready to pick these up and turn them off later. Let's see uh, what we're looking at here with the lithium iron phosphate cell. 113, 116, getting pretty toasty as well. 116 is what I saw, almost 117. And then the i5, I think this is peaked. If we get over 90, we'll know we're still climbing over here, but I don't think we are. Staying pretty steady, high 80s, no problem there. Just about 90 again. Give it another couple minutes and uh, basically as you run the lights, since the capacity is, is dropping, the voltage drops as well. Um, so the max heat that you're gonna get is typically in the first few minutes of leaving the light on its highest setting. Uh, so let's take a look. Did I just see 163? 167. Yeah, so you definitely don't want this in your pocket inadvertently turned on or um, in your hand, really. Very hot, 167. One thing I'm gonna say about heat, I've said this in other videos too, uh, you can't really put a temperature um, on what is safe or unsafe because what, what burns come down to oftentimes is the duration of time that your skin has contact with a hot surface. So whereas if you uh, lightly tap a very hot surface, you're less likely to get a severe burn as if you leave your skin in contact with the hot item um, for a longer period of time. So I'm not interested, obviously for legal reasons too, in telling you what temperature is safe or not. <laughs> I'm gonna call this unsafe for sure uh, over here. And then this lithium iron phosphate cell, definitely getting up there in temp too. So you know, be very careful, use your discretion. Um, if you do this sort of thing, which I can't say it's recommended by me, um, definitely not by Olight. So um, yeah, just use your brains when it comes to this, because yeah, you are getting into some pretty high temps. It's about 125 there on the lithium iron phosphate cell. And uh, I5R battery is still chilling, not quite up to 90 yet, so. Not bad, not bad. We will wait just another minute and see if uh, we can get any higher temperatures. The temperature to beat over here is 167 degrees Fahrenheit, 125 degrees Fahrenheit, just about 90 degrees Fahrenheit over here. So we'll see if we can beat those at all in just another minute. Now, while we wait, I'll just uh, humbly ask that you like the video if you enjoy this type of content. That would help me grow this channel, which I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Um, so that I could get paid by YouTube someday. <laughs> that would be cool, even if it's just a little bit. So that's the goal. Um, so if you enjoy this content and you aren't subscribed, I kindly ask you to do that if you enjoy this type of content. But without further ado, let's get another read. See if we can beat 167 over here. 147. So yeah, it would appear that we have peaked temperature wise actually good timing for the video. Yeah, so 167 was the max, it seems. Let's see if we've peaked at the temperature wise over here. I saw 126, 128, okay. 129, so this is actually potentially still climbing. 129, while we're waiting, I just wanna say something about this battery chemistry. This is a lesser known battery chemistry than lithium ion um, or alkaline. And this is a really cool battery chemistry because um, they are known for being a bit safer than lithium ion cells. And they're also rated for more cycles, which means their lifespan is a lot longer. Like over time, they can take a full charge and a full discharge 
a greater number of times before they start to lose capacity over lithium ion cells, which is why I was kind of drawn to these batteries in the first place. Uh, without further ado, let's get that last reading, hopefully last reading, 135. Let's see, 135, can we beat that? 135, no one about 135. Surprisingly, still climbing in temp. Another thing I'm gonna mention is I am not taking the temperature of the lenses themselves. So uh, that's just something to be aware of because the lenses themselves could also be hot and potentially even hotter than the bodies of the lights. I just am not taking the temperature of the lens because it's such a small target for me to hit with this thermometer. And the thermometer kind of freaks out because it hits the LED and then other components in there and then the number starts getting a little wacky. So yeah, let me see. Yeah, guys, this is really hot. I would not recommend that um, unless you're doing it just for fun for a few moments, maybe. But this gets really hot really quick. I can't say I recommend it at all. And then this, obviously very cool to the touch, no problem. No problem at all with the i5R battery. Lens is still cool too, so nothing much going on with this. See over here. Can we beat 135? 137, 138. I'm actually pretty shocked it's still climbing. The battery is uh impressing me by keeping this up. 138. So uh just uh as a way of comparison, the max temp we recorded over here was 167 on the 3.7 volt battery. 3.2 volt battery is 138. That's our max temp, but it still could be climbing. So we'll see. Um, so while we wait, I'll just say from my perspective or my opinion, the half of volts drop, um, half of volts drop in this battery chemistry over the lithium ion does seem to result in lower temps, but not necessarily to the extent that it becomes what I would call safe. So that's just my two cents. Yeah, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching if you made it this far. I uh, really appreciate that. And let me know if you have any other ideas for videos like uh, Graham did. Um, I, I can't promise I'll do all of them, but if I have this stuff in the stuff and you've got a question, um, whether or not I make a video, I can at least try to test something out for you and get you the answer. Um, like I said, if I have the light or the battery or um, 141, 143, 143, we are still climbing. Running out of things to talk about. I guess I'll just say this. Um, I think what I'm going to do in the future, I had a really good video idea. At least I think it's a good video idea. What I like about the i5T and the i5R and i5T from Olight is that you're kind of able to tune the lights output and run times by selecting which cell you use in them. So if you want crazy output, um, but maybe at the expense of some runtime, you can go to a higher voltage. Whereas if you want longer runtime and you're willing to sacrifice some brightness, you could go to a super low voltage. So I think a cool video idea in the future would be a runtime test using a 1.2 volt nickel metal hydride cells, 1.5 volt alkaline batteries, this 2.4 volt proprietary cell from Olight, the lithium iron phosphate 3.2 volt battery, and then the 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. I think that would be really cool to see on high, on the high setting, you know, the difference in run times between those cells, because I think the lower the voltage goes, the longer your run time is going to be. And, uh, but yeah, just to, just to see what exactly those times would be, would be pretty cool. A pretty cool test to do. I probably would need to pick up not only uh, the nickel metal hydride batteries, but also some more lights to do it all at the same time. So we'll see, we'll see if that becomes a reality, but I thought it was a cool idea anyway. 145. I so I mean we were just at 143 a couple minutes ago. So I don't know that we're gonna get much warmer. And I might call the video just for the sake of time. Um because I don't know how long this is gonna go and I'm running out of things to ramble about. So I appreciate you bearing with me if you're still here. 145 is I'm calling it.
I don't think we're reaching any higher than, okay, as I say that, 146, 147. I'm gonna round up to 150 because I don't know how, how much hotter this will go. Uh, for the sake of time, I'm gonna call it 150. So the, the max temp recorded over here on the 3.2 volt lithium ion cell, this bat these are not the greatest batteries, by the way. These are kind of cheap ones. This milliamp hour claim is very um, wildly over exaggerated, but it is a 3.7 volt battery nonetheless, and the output is pretty impressive with this cell. Um, yeah, with this battery, we've got 167 degrees Fahrenheit, which I'll put the um, temperature in Celsius on the screen here as well for the uh, torch fans. And uh, let's see if I can beat 150 just for the sake of 149. Yeah, so this is still climbing very steadily throughout the whole test. 149. I'm going to call it at 150, though. Um, just know that potentially it could get hotter. Room temperature, once again, is 77, almost 78 degrees Fahrenheit. So, yeah, with that said, be safe. Um, my glove is disintegrating. There's little pieces of it everywhere. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. God bless you. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Let me know if you have any other video ideas. Have a great day.